Ah, oh, ice skating. I haven't done this in years. Isaac ties up his skates and you start gliding on the ice. He holds out his hand. Yes. He smiles and skates just a bit faster, gently pulling you along. When I was 10 or so, my father took up my fa took my family up to Canada for winter. So we'd know what real cold was like. I mostly hated it, but there was this big frozen lake that all the kids skated on. It felt so freeing to be alone out on the ice. Just your thoughts. <laughs> or the friend I could trust. Isaac smiles. Maybe that's why I enjoy going to the dungeon with you. I'm like a frozen lake? Uh... Oh. No, 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 no. That's not what I meant at all. I put my foot in it again. I just meant that I appreciate our time together. That's all. You skate a bit longer before you return to the dunge. The one problem I have with kind of these games especially, where it's not just kind of like super thirsty dating sim elements, but there's like actually character development and whatnot. Is that you want to get to know them all. Yeah, but I end up like... I don't know necessarily if I'm always like this, but I, I definitely was kind of the therapy friend here and there. Oh, I... Yeah, and people would come to me with all their issues and... And I realize that that's actually out. not a good position to necessarily put myself in. Mm -hmm. um, I think that also actually put me in a position where I wasn't ever very good friends with most of these people. A lot um, of people came to me for relationship advice, even though I had never been in a relationship before. And my only knowledge or expertise had been watching and it, it just it, a myriad of movies from practically every decade of modern of like old and modern cinema and it was yeah it was odd i think my ad advice though always wasn't you even came to me for advice too a little bit i had ulterior motives you had ulterior motives but you know my advice to you was to you know date someone when they're your best friend i mean i took your advice I suppose you did. Yep, yep, yep. Because I feel too often people... it I don't want to say it taints the process of getting to know someone if there is that ulterior motive going on. If you go into a friendship or a relationship expecting a potential romantic relationship, I think it creates these expectations yeah. and it... It can either put strain on the relationship from the get-go, or you don't know if it's genuine. The friendship is genuine, if you know what I mean. So it's much nicer when you become good friends first, without necessarily even the thought or the inkling that, oh, maybe this could be something more. And Or, I mean, you can have that thought or inkling, but you, you leave it at that. Until it's like, yeah, actually, there is something here. Mm -hmm. And obviously, don't try to force it either. Isaac looks up at the sculpture mm. thoughtfully. It's lovely. I often like to think of cats when I'm fencing. They have such poise and grace, especially when they mm -hmm. hunt. Or perhaps you prefer dogs. Oh, cats. I mean, yeah, I... We've had Dagu. terrible, terrible years with dogs as of late because dog owners around here are real are, crappy. They're really bad. They're kind of neglectful and like not, it is not, not very respectful. We cannot go a day without hearing some dog going. Nom, 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 in dogs the attacking each other. I saw a guy the other day whose dog was the very anxious scared but also i will attack you kind of dog he was walking by this other man with a dog and the guy lifts his very angry anxious dog up into the face of the super happy dog hoping to desensitize him or something it's like no that's not how you acclimate dogs to other dogs if they're dog aggressive i i grew up dog sitting and you know, training my family friends' dogs and stuff, and it takes a lot of work, but people just seem to get them, and then they don't actually go through the effort of training them, and it leads to a lot of behavioral issues, and I mean, we've almost been attacked on hiking trails yeah. by dogs, especially ones that are unleashed and people are I mean, you could argue, to some degree, we weren't physically attacked, but it was... It was it it could have. It could have very it was easily. snarling and coming up to us, and his owner was out of sight. Yeah. Didn't and didn't even have a leash. Like that is. Uh, but in any case, cats. I've definitely grown 
like more accustomed to the idea of like, when I was young I was always the, of the perception that I favored dogs because dogs were so amicable and the, at least the ones that I grew up know knowing were very well behaved and oh please play with me please rub my belly please you know pay attention to me whereas a lot of my friends who had cats the cats were definitely the eh I can le just leave me alone you know, if I want to be pet, I'll come to you, but eh, I we could care a, less. We had a friend in college huh? who had, I think she had two cats. One was skittish and the other one was lovable. Uh, she's had a number of good cats, But, though. like, the Siamese one was just aggressively turtle. loving. Turtle Siamese. That, that, that cat yeah. would come up to you and just lay flat, like, just sprawl themselves across your lap and demand rubs and stuff. Rubs, scritches, and uh, combing. Oh it yeah, loved with the comb. being combed, and so you would just comb it just a little bit, and it would start like purring. I don't know how many of you guys uh, read One Punch Man. This cat had the king engine going. The king engine. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, for context, One Punch Man comedy manga, um, where the world's top hero is this guy called King, and he's got like a like a scar down his eye, and he looks like a really intimidating dude. Um, but he's a regular human, but you can hear him coming because he's so scared mm -hmm. and he has kind of this like rumble to him because he's so scared. But for everybody else, they're just massively intimidated by the King engine mm -hmm. that if, if they can hear it coming, like it's terrifying to them. And really what happened was just that he ended up getting a bunch of Saitama's kills attributed to him because he was the only survivor mm. and he was there every single time and so this cat the moment you start petting it it is like <laughs> but it's like yeah. you can hear it across the room the cat is purring so so hard and so loud and the it was thing such is, a lovely cat uh, we have noticed uh, on our walks around here that there are some cats outside I, I still think that cats should generally be inside creatures or have jangly bells if they're outside. Right. But a number of the ones that we see, they they come up to you, they rub around your legs, they meow. You pet them a little bit, and when you need to go, you go. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's it. And then they, they hang out where they are. Uh, unfortunately, growing up, a lot of my friends had cats that were either indifferent or some of them would actually hiss so and run away. The reason why I cats that are outside should have bells I realize that, yes, it could potentially damage their ears, but at the same time, you need to have some kind of means of having that, that cat be audible for birds. Well, cats are responsible for the deaths of billions of lizards, amphibians, birds, and other wildlife every single year. And, and out they're outdoor actually cats will gladly just kill stuff just because... And they've act, they're actually pushing a number of songbirds to the brink of extinction. And in places like Australia, they've be, there are so many feral populations of them that they've implemented bounties, essentially saying this is an invasive species. Unfortunately, we need to cull them. And so I sympathize with cat ears, but... Well, also, the thing is, people who have indoor-outdoor cats or outdoor cats, it, it leads to them getting diseases, yeah. potentially hit by cars, killed by dogs and fox like and other animals yeah like i'm super anti-cats being outside outside of like a controlled environment but and i have a friend who takes her cat with her out on walks but the cat is either in a harness or in a kind of like backpack carrier yeah oh we saw a man with a kitten in his backpack carrier mm -hmm. when we were at the zoo and it was so cute i don't think the kitten was really enjoying it but it was cute Anyway, cats are the best. Right. It's easy to admire them, is it not? When they're not being cruel, at least. Independence and elegance are fine virtues indeed. He touches in your hand and smiles. Would you like what to a offer gift? a gift? Nope. I wonder if he he wouldn't be the vodka Shall type, would he? Probably uh, not. I have no idea. I don't think we really need to offer gifts. Ah. There we go. Yeah, people are making a good point in chat that the relationship seemed to go by really fast. 
I uh, you mean like the in the dungeon? In the dungeon. Uh, I mean upside as well. I Valeria we talked to longer so far. But it was only a couple outings. Yeah, I but I think part of it has to do with the fact that we haven't been like actually engaging with a lot of these characters. Mm -hmm. Like with Isaac we could have stuck around to listen. Uh, you know, to his dispute with his father. With uh I think his Sunder. father is just displeased with the fact that he's chosen to move away from their fancy, you know, yeah, gentrified Yeah, try and make area. a name for himself separately, and maybe there's other things. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. But, like, with that, we could have just, we could have, uh, you know, listened in, which would have added a lot more. And I can understand some characters going really fast and some characters needing more time to get to know them and such. Because we haven't even... What's his name? Jonah? Well, Come back, Crab! Well, Jonah... He seems to be But like we, with we haven't else. even hit relationship level zero with the dude. We right. just got introduced to him. Right, but, and then with Seven, he, he, I think, just needs a friend yeah. at the moment. But I, I will also Someone say... Who isn't, fawning over him because he's part of a band. I'm not really expecting this game to be particularly deep. I'm just expecting it to be kind of charming. Mm -hmm. And you can kind of fill in the gaps about the rest of the relationship. Um, and I think that actually would have been something that would have been kind of nice if you could just go hang out with these characters and they'd have, like, maybe a couple of illustrations of, like, the characters just hanging doing a thing. So, like, taking Valeria to, like, an actual arcade or... Uh, taking taking Joan out surfing, mm -hmm. um, you know, to fill the gaps. Ooh, does he like games? Mm -mm. Oh, I couldn't possibly. I don't know anything about these kinds of games. I wasn't allowed near them as a child, and these days I don't have hmm. have the time. I'll watch you though; they look quite exciting. What do you want to play? Um, Chronosite Pinball, Street Puncher, <laughs> Street oh. Puncher. Those little cartoons are quite violent, aren't they? You fight a few rounds. The machine's buttons are a little sticky due to neglect. Eventually, you run out of tokens. <laughs> Video games surely are a waste of time, but I'm glad you had fun. Back to it, shall we? Video I games feel are judged. a waste of time. Oh no. It's okay. I mean, for him, he may have been brought up in such a way where it wasn't pr a productive use of your time, you know? Yeah. He's in an investment firm situation now. Do you know what I almost wish? I almost wish that with the boss battles, that they were personalized to the weapon. Oh well, no 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 no! That that they weren't all crab phones. That they actually explain how your character reacts to seeing them. Yeah, because I it, I would love to see the main character actually have some more um, development. development. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I think the thing is they want the character to be kind of a blank slate, so they went with a lot of every man fears. You know, fear of change, fear of. Uh, uh, oh gosh, I forget what the other levels are. I wasn't paying that much of attention. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I think part of it is I see the better game in this game, but this game is also twenty bucks, so it's really difficult for me to like complain too much about the the lack or the speed, if that makes any sense. That I would love to play a game like this where. You really can get like in deep. Oh, whoa! Thank you, stumped friends and associate raiders Hello. for the raid. Welcome on in. Also, I think I missed another raid earlier, so thank you, Buzz, for the raid. I probably missed it. I think we're in the middle of being stalked. Uh, <laughs> but how you all doing today? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I got this for free through Game Pass. Oh, right, it is on Game Pass. I gotta do a video at some point. I uh, maybe even like a monthly thing where I'm just kind of like, hey, let's let's just look at a bunch of games on Game Pass. This is for Xbox? Uh, yeah, the Xbox Games Pass. Because mm -hmm. uh, it's like, pay a 10, 15 bucks sub, sub fee, and you just get access to, like, alert. It's effectively Netflix, but for video games. But if you're unsubscribed from the service, do you still have access to those free games that you got no. while you were subscribed? Yes, sort of. Um, so that's how PS Plus works, and the answer is no. Um, so Xbox isn't as nice as PS Plus? Uh, well... So I think with PS Plus, if you unsub, you lose access to the games as well. Wait, what? Yeah. 
But, like, the surfaces are so cheap and so, like, good bang for your buck-wise, it's kind of like, oh well. And it's if you're unsubbed for a while, it doesn't matter so much. Yeah, it's kind of akin to Because you're how... probably doing other things anyway. Yeah, other subscription services for streaming movies and shows usually have years and years worth of shows well, and movies Because, to... like, for me with Netflix, like, I only watch, like, uh, Netflix for, you know, maybe, like, one or two shows, and then I kind of lose interest. I need to... Uh, they just released the, I suppose, the last season that, at least in recent memory, I, I always get Walking Dead a, a year later because I don't watch it when it's airing live. And I'm going... Man, I'd like to see what happens. At the same time, I feel so bad for everyone. They always find a new place to, you know, stay and build up, and maybe they find new people, and then it all comes crashing down, and everything, everyone gets torn apart, and there's, you know, some dramatic deaths. And then they usually have to go on the run and go to the next area and recoup, and... You know, maybe they get lulled into complacency again with a new group or a new town, and then they have to move on again. And I'm, I'm thinking. What day is today? Is today Saturday? What? I was just uh, normally I, I try and figure out like what uh, what people were up to, but I think today was party day with Stump. So uh, I don't know. I just okay. I I always feel a little guilty when I get raided and I can't like properly respond, or if we immediately get distracted. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh, I also, <laughs> I guess it's one of those where I'm not sure if I really need to intro this this game quite as much as some of the other games that I might be playing. Because I'm pretty sure somebody from Stumped has been streaming this. Mm -hmm. Maybe not, actually. I don't actually know. But yeah, uh, just to go back to the like Game Pass thing, uh, just real quick. I, I forgot what my point no, was about The Walking know. Dead. Whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, we've already done this one. It is Saturday. I've lost all sense of time. Price has mentioned it. Okay. I... <laughs> I guess it makes sense, because Jazz is probably busy, and also there's the... the yeah. garden story thing. There's so the many things. games that have been released There's too recently. many! Like, I'm legitimately, like, trying to figure out how to finish some of these, because... At the same time, it's... I, I suppose this is a good game for you to play because it's a combination of visual novel dating sim and then roguelike dungeon. Yeah. Because otherwise it's difficult for you to play narrative yeah, games I, with me. I have difficulty choice. with narrative games because they tend to be really long um, mm -hmm. and kind of frustrating, frustratingly long. Uh, but one of the things that this game does kind of well is there's a constant feeling of like kind of progression of like every time i rank up one of the one of the social links effectively they get a new ability uh that like expands upon uh what they can do so the the most recent perk for sunder makes his like uh makes this swing the final one much bigger um and that's really nice and he also has the ability to bleed on a combo. Mm -hmm. Except for this boss. Apparently the boss doesn't doesn't bleed. But if you notice, they take four damage periodically now, which uh, wrecks them. Oh, I know about the point that I was going to make. I just, I wish that for more zombie apocalypse stories, that there were efforts to find a way to either create a cure or to discover the source of the outbreak and then engineer something yeah unfortunately to, uh to combat the zombies and mass i i just it's always unfortunate when it's just groups, it's just drama well drama in groups of people fleeing from one place to another it'd be nice if there was a a goal like a long-term goal for rebuilding. We should play Dying Light at some point together, maybe. Mm -hmm. oh. Sunder watches the waterfall, mesmerized. Waterfall? You mean fountain? No, he he's only watching the water on the periphery that's falling back down. <laughs> mm -hmm. The sound of water is almost musical. Not a, very good for dancing, though. More like a uh, trance. You think they have a music store? I guess those don't really exist mm. anymore. 
but malls aren't popular anymore either. So here we are. So anything's possible. Well, vinyl's back in style. We're gonna have to get more vinyls. Yep. But we also need a record player. I bought a number. <laughs> I need to get more like indie game vinyls. Unfortunately, the the ones that I want are heavily back ordered, so it's just like. Mm -hmm. I, I grew up with a lot of vinyls that my parents had from, you know, as far back as, I suppose most of their stuff they acquired in the 70s and then the 80s. My dad has some of the original soundtracks for, you know, Star Wars, New Hope, among other things on vinyl. I just remember we used to listen to Elvis and the Beatles. The, what was it? the turtles and the monkeys. You know what game I want the soundtrack for, mm -hmm. uh, though, recently? I mean, th this one has some pretty good music, but um, I was playing Axiom Verge earlier today. Mm -hmm. the soundtrack for that is incredibly good. There's, like, uh, a section that I was going through, and it just had this, like, really haunting, like, uh, woman singing Ooh, in the background. Singing? What was what, that? Was she echoing? Um, like, ah, kind of? It, it's like this weird... So the whole game is like Mesopotamian-ish oh. flavored. Like... Uh, like the the setting and a lot of the aesthetics. Oh, are, so is it more of the kind of the calls? Kind of, yeah. Like, it's weird. Ah. But yeah. Yeah. But so the, the whole game soundtrack is kind of like that. Uh-huh. But also like kind of... I'm not going to say poppy. More like, I mean traditional game soundtrack, but it's got such a unique sound to it. Mm -hmm. I really like listening to it. See Dungeon, not sure where the relationship part comes in. You get to date your swords! <laughs> the sad thing is... Yeah, I was listening to Lindsay Sterling earlier while I was painting. Speaking your... of dating your swords, though, yeah, I'm definitely getting to this like point with uh, play... Valeria's not bad. Sunder is really strong. Mm -hmm. Which is a shame because I have zero interest in him. Oh. Cha-ching. That was a business suit. Yeah. Wow, we have $148. We went into this with like 90. This upper level is uh, lucrative. I want bubble see, tea. See, Dale the cat. We haven't gotten to the cat yet. Well, we saw the cat once. I don't know if that's the cat. It has to be the cat. Maybe. It had eyebrows. It's true. And it was looking at you. Judgingly. Oops. Whoa. That's a big bat. He just went hiss. He likes the, being a viper. I can. Now it doesn't look look like it can extend that. That's a lot of blood. That is. I, I'd okay. like to have a small collection of replica swords and stuff. I mean, I already have lightsabers. At this point, between the two of us, we have four. Yeah, the main problem is figuring out like what kind of replica swords we want to get. Because I, I know there's the Lord of the Rings Lord ones. Lord of the Rings ones. Which, like, I'm not against. There are other movie I, Not going to lie, uh, I, I doubt we're going to get another stimulus. Uh, we might get oh, another stimulus Oh, for goodness check. sake, don't say you're going to use it on... Use my next start stimulus check on swords? Why not? No. Be responsible with it. I, I put mine towards, you know, oil change for the car. Buy I guess, but it's just it. like... I'm not going to Travel say costs. I'm in a position where it's just like... The thing is, the the thing I don't want to do is save that money. Because it's not meant for that. Well, I suppose part of it is me. to also boost businesses. But then that means you should boost local businesses. Nah. Oh, ice cream? Mm, no thanks. Can't have the calories impacting my boyish physique after mm. all. That's not boyish. <laughs> What, why do you think people come to the mall anyway? It's so sterile. Waste time. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, so for my family back in the day, and I, I suppose my hometown still has one very popular mall, but 
for us, yes, it was to buy things, but for us, it was kind of an outing for us to spend time together. And sometimes it would be a multi-generational event where my grandmother would specifically kind of host the outing, but she would insist on, you know, paying for the clothes that we purchase from, say, Macy's or whatnot. Usually I'd only prefer to get things that were necessary. I mean, as a kid, though, I, I did I did get some toys at the Discovery Channel store, like my bio bug. And then FYE, oh, with all the movies. And they had some action figures and memorabilia and and obviously video games and like CDs. Man, that was a that was an immense store. I think they're all out of business though, FYE. But and then, you know, there was the food court food and I, Okay, so spend time together. Is yeah. That what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> That's a sweet thought. I know I wouldn't come here without you after all. All the more reason to clear out these monsters. Let's get back to it. All right. Break that. So I I think for us it was a change of scene. I'd always ride the little carousel. I liked the little mall in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. That was such a perfect mall for me. They had a mm -hmm. GameStop. They had a hobby store that had magic cards. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, they had a Chick-fil-A back before I knew Chick-fil-A was uh, run by monsters. <laughs> Uh, let's see. At the food court, we would always get the uh, the Chinese food that was there. Let's see. What else did they have? I think they had other restaurants there, but we never really cared about any of them. But they also had a... Uh, it was called, I think, a Southern Season. Hmm. Mm -hmm. It was a... Uh, it was like a really ritzy sort of grocery store. Huh. I would love to see if we have one within driving distance, but I think they're all East Coast, uh, you know... I Southeastern be US. Mm -hmm. um, but they had like really fancy artisanal chocolates and like gifty things and some other stuff. The mall Chinese food is always good. Mall teriyaki is always really good. There's just something like really juicy about the chicken that they chose. They were also really generous about having all of the different types of chicken on toothpicks for you to try out so yeah. that if you. The free samples were pretty bomb. Mm hmm. That's definitely where I developed a love for, you know, sesame or orange chicken. Oh, I've I actually want, made. I want to go to a Chinese buffet again. Ah, oh, but we can't go to a buffet. Assholes for a better long start time. masking up so I can go out and get my nah, Chinese food fix. Even, even that though, I I still don't think it would be wise to. No, go I to I mean buffet. like mask up for the next like couple months so I can start going back outside again. I don't mean like. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I see. Who knows? But... I mean, I, I did make some really good orange chicken that one time. You did. Though it's a, it's a difficult process. You have to prepare a... Oh, what was it? A kind of buttermilk mixture. Which, for me, is usually just milk with a little bit of lemon juice. And then you have to kind of... It's not necessarily oh. curdling it, but you kind of have to get it sour. And then there's flour. I, I forget if you needed any other additives, like a baking soda or a salt or something else. But then you have to... What is it? It's not drench. What is it? When you just roll the chicken into it and you coat it. Oh. Is it it's something? I think it has a CH at the end. It's not blanched. Oh, no. Dredge, people are saying? Dredge. Huh. Dredge? Okay. Dredge, then. So, okay, you dredge it into the flour, and then you fry it in the skillet. We have a freestanding Panda Express here. Autonomous from the mall food court. Oh! Oh, uh, you mean separate. Panda yeah, Express. so do we, actually. There are a ton of Panda Expresses around here. I wouldn't mind getting Panda Express. I, I'm not big on it normally, but I haven't had it in years. The last time I had Panda Express was at the Minnesota airport on my way home. That was like, back in 2019. Long time ago, the before times. The before times when it was safe to be around people and you weren't like, put your damn mask back on, Cretan. 
I'm not, I'm really not looking forward to. Well, we can just perpetually remain uh, game hermits. I mean, except for the fact that we have to move. That too. Because I'm, I'm really iffy on the idea of... Staying another year. I, my face hurts in a way that I know is responsible, uh, is in response to the air quality. Mm hmm Like, my eyes have been, like, itchy for the past couple days. I mean, days. we can turn up the HEPA filter and... It's on, like, it should be good enough. It, I think it's just, like, still irritating regardless. Like, I can't imagine how much worse it is without, but I also have to talk for a living. Mm-hmm. It's kind of the main frustration. And, like, after a certain point, I'm going to say I can't afford fire season. Mm -hmm. You know, if it was, like, clearly just, like, a, a crazy fluke drought uh, storm thing where it... But it's, this is probably going to be every year. Yeah, until our world fixes itself and... Well, I mean, we've been on this path for 120 years, so I can't imagine we're going to be able to reverse it very quick. I think it's so rooted in just the societal fabric, particularly with consumerism. I don't think that there will be a way to reverse the damage unless consumerism is addressed. You know, the interesting thing is, like, uh, mm -hmm. I keep hearing reports saying that if we manage to actually get, like, to carbon neutral, a lot of our problems kind of, I'm not going to say stop happening. But, um, but then we still would have to tackle other forms of pollution, because there's yeah. agricultural pollution, there's chemical pollution, oh, there's plastic pollution, and all of that's still from the way that our food is produced and all the products that we consume is produced. I was stuck on a little bit of masonry. That yep. sucks. There's so many good things there. Yep. Well, at least we got them up to level 3. Did I get Valeria up to 12? I have no idea. Or not 12. The max. I think I didn't get to her. Or maybe I got to her, but I didn't get to... I forget. Oh, we were gaining some levels at least, which is really nice. Yeah. Gallivant. Defender. You had the title of duelist before. Now you're a venturer. You got relatives on the East Coast getting smoke from over there. It's true. It's just like... Oh, yeah. I When I was briefly back in my hometown, some Canadian fires were coating the area south of Lake Ontario with smoke as well. Dark Prince. Ooh. The Dark Prince recipe. What are you making? A bowler hat. A bowler hat? Oh, gosh. Eh. Uh, oh, I like... I really like uh, what Seven was texting you about fictional characters make the worst decisions. Wait, there's an anime shirt? Yes. I want to. I want to make everything in case uh, some have unique effects. Wait, there's a teddy bear. Fine gold chain. Raspberry liqueur. Fried mackerel. Wow, we actually ended up making a lot of things. Let's see. Travel guide. Mirror. Okay. So we can be. That looks pretty cool. That looks really good. There's also this suit, but that's a eh. little much. However. No. No. You're going to get in that orange suit. Yeah, there we go. Orange or is it red? I have no yeah. idea. Yeah. All right. And we also have zines. Frankly. Puts monsters to sleep. I'm going to go with fireballs. the fireball. Ugh, fireball. You should look at your phone. I I will momentarily. <laughs> 